Welcome to Type C Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be comparing the LG 34 GP 83AB versus the Asus Tough Gaming VG32 VQL1B. I'm going to go over the pros and the cons of each, and then I'm going to tell you which one I recommend for you. And if at any point during the video, if you want to check out either of these gaming ultrawides, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. But let's jump into the comparison. All right, so these are both 34 inches. They're both 1440p, and they're both curved. Now the LG is 144 hertz with a one millisecond response time, but this can be overclocked to 160 hertz. Now the ASUS is 165 hertz with one millisecond response time, so they're actually very, very similar. But here's one massive difference. The LG is an IPS panel, while the ASUS is a VA panel. Now the LG is also a 10-bit panel, so it can display 1.07 billion colors, while the ASUS is also a 10-bit panel. So at 144 hertz, the ASUS can output a 10-bit color. However, I'm not sure if this is a native 8-bit panel with FRC frame rate control to actually have the same 1.07 billion colors as a 10-bit panel, or if it's just a native 10-bit panel that cannot output 10-bit over 144 hertz. There is really not very much information on that. So if one of you guys know, please comment below and I'll pin it below. All right, now moving into color accuracy, the LG pulls ahead by quite a bit. This gets a 98% of the DCI P3 color gamut, which is quite a bit better than the ASUS. The ASUS hits about 120% of the sRGB color space, which is about 90% of the DCI P3 color space. So the LG has significantly better colors. So if you're gonna be doing video editing, photo editing, something like that, but you also want to do gaming, the LG is definitely going to pull ahead with this. All right, now let's talk brightness. The LG is marketed as a 400 nit panel, but it does get up to a peak brightness of 450 nits. The ASUS is marketed as a 550 nit panel, and that is, again, it's peak brightness. So it's actually going to be closer to like 400, 450 nits on a normal day-to-day -day basis. But it does go all the way up a whole 100 nits brighter than the LG. And this is really good, especially for a VA panel. The brightness on this is a huge pro. Although both of them are quite bright enough for sitting how close you will be to your gaming monitor. All right, now the contrast ratio. VA panels always have better uh, contrast ratios than IPS panels. Panels, so the ASUS pulls ahead by quite a bit here. The ASUS rocks a 4,000 to one contrast ratio. Some people have recorded it at 4,500 to one. Uh, so it's quite good. The black levels are really, really nice. Now the IPS, the LG is only getting a 1,000 to one. And this is pretty typical for an IPS panel. IPS panels just don't have contrast ratios that VA panels have. However, that being said, I would definitely rather take the color accuracy of the LG over the contrast ratio. However, you guys can pick for yourselves with that. All right, now let's talk ghosting. This is really important for gaming. The LG is basically nothing. It's practically perfect. It's extraordinarily minimal. Also screen tearing, I've had no issues with that at all. Both of these monitors have FreeSync Premium, but let's talk the ASUS. Now in a typical ghosting test for VA panels, this one performs really well. It's comparable to the LG, but the LG is like almost no ghosting. The ASUS has a little bit, uh, especially in like the UFO test. However, this is the different part. This is where the ASUS definitely drops a little bit compared to the LG, which it should, it's less expensive, but it has red and green ghosting, which I've seen other reviewers just not even notice this, which is absolutely crazy. I tried this in a bunch of different overdrive settings with FreeSync on, with FreeSync off. I tried it with all these different settings and it does not go away. That means in dark environments, like in alleyways, when you're in a game, you move fairly quickly, you're gonna see literally the red and green colors uh, pull apart from each other. And it can be quite annoying, especially if it's really dark with really bright areas that can be pretty bad. So comparatively for gameplay, I prefer the LG. That being said, if you want an ultra wide, the ASUS is still a fantastic option. And for me, this wouldn't be a deal breaker. It's only compared side by side that I tend to look more at the LG. And I will say how I tested these was gaming on both of them separately and then gaming with them side by side, showing the exact same image. So just duplicating the displays, both with either one of their native refresh rates and native settings put to the other one. And every single time the LG pulled ahead in darker environments and darker gameplay, but overall it just looks better. However, the black levels are definitely better on the ASUS. It's noticeable. Now let's talk ports. The ASUS actually pulls ahead in this one with two HDMI 2.0 ports, two DisplayPort 1.4s, a three and a half millimeter audio out, 
four USB type A's and then an upstream USB type B port. This is great. I mean, you're basically getting a USB hub in your monitor. It's nice to see. It's nothing like insane. Obviously, USB hubs are not super expensive, but you are getting like more ports than the LG. The LG gets two USB 2.0s, one DisplayPort 1.4, a three and a half millimeter audio out, two USB type A's, and then one USB type B. Again, for most of you, this is definitely gonna be enough ports, but if you do want that USB hub, definitely uh, look at the ASUS, although most of you guys should not be buying this based on uh, the USBs. All right, now let's talk stand build quality. So the stand on the LG is definitely better in my opinion. Uh, it's more premiumly made, it looks nicer, uh, it has more pretty accent colors. Also, the stand legs are not quite as wide as the ASUS, which does uh, decrease the amount of space the stand takes up on your desk, which I think is a massive pro. Even though the legs are smaller, it is quite, quite stable. It is not going anywhere. Now, beyond that, it has height adjustability, tilt adjustability, and it even rotates just a little bit, although no swivel. And I will say all of these motions are very refined. It's very easy to, to pull it up or down or tilt it or anything like that. Now, the ASUS stand is not quite as nice as the LG. However, it has a super wide stand. It's very stable, but again, you're losing a little bit of desk real estate uh, just because of how wide the stand is. It does have height adjustability, tilt adjustability, no rotation, but it does have a little bit of swivel, just a little bit. But for most of you, either of these stands will be good and the build quality is not super important, but the stance might be. All right, now let's talk color shift. Now the LG is an IPS panel, so there's borderline no color shift. You can basically look at this from any angle and great viewing angles, great color, everything like that. Now VA panels are marketed as having no color shift. Uh, however, that's really not true. Colors get washed out if you're not right in front of the panel. It's not quite like a TN panel because the colors don't necessarily shift, but it's like washed out. So it will not look vibrant or anything like that. So that is definitely something to consider. Then the last thing is both of these are vase mountable with 100 by 100 millimeter vase amounts. Now overall, in my opinion, the LG wins with color accuracy and overall usability with gaming. It's just a smoother experience. There was a tiny bit of screen tearing with the ASUS and there was like none on the LG. So as far as gaming, if you do want the smoothest experience with no ghosting, whether that be red or green or just normal ghosting, the LG is definitely going to pull ahead here as well. Color accuracy, color shift. But in my opinion, if you have the money, the LG is an absolutely amazing monitor. It's pretty much one of those monitors that you get it and every other monitor kind of looks like trash. However, for 500 bucks, the ASUS also is a steal. If you were comparing these and these would cost the same price, obviously the LG would win over and over again, but because the ASUS is 500 bucks and the LG is $800, if you guys don't have the cash to spend, the ASUS is a fantastic monitor that directly compares with the LG, which is crazy, to even say that. Again, guys, if you do wanna go check out either of these monitors, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. Highly recommend that LG. Asus is a fantastic option for you if you just wanna spend 500 bucks on an ultra wide. And both of these are very premium monitors. There's absolutely no doubt about that. You will be happy with either one of these, although if ghosting affects you a little bit more, get the LG. Splurge on the LG, it's absolutely amazing. And the LG is my daily driver for editing all of these videos and producing everything on this channel. So the Asus just couldn't take its place because of the color accuracy, the color shift, and the ghosting with the red and green. Although the ghosting doesn't bother me that much, and if I only had this monitor, I would be totally happy with it. But because an LG is sitting right next to it, the Ultra Gear, I'm gonna just use that one every day. There's no reason for me to use the Asus when I got that one. But guys, that was my comparison of the LG and the Asus. I am not saying those names again, it is absolutely ridiculous. Monitor companies need to start changing those stupid names with all the numbers. But if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, help me out and go subscribe below. We're trying to get this channel to 2000 subscribers. But thank you for all the support. I know this channel is still fairly small, but you guys have still been supporting it, which is absolutely crazy. But this was Type-C Tech Reviews. I'll see you guys in the next video.